Aimlab is a robust tool for training, and as such, it can be difficult to understand exactly how you should use it to optimize training for your personal needs. My name is DDK, and today we're bringing you a beginner's guide to playlists in Aimlab. Think about a playlist as a skill gauntlet. It's a specific collection of Aimlab tasks laid out in a specific order to help you improve, whether that be an overall improvement in a game or a specific aiming skill you want to master. For example, a Valorant playlist contains a set of scenarios that will help you to improve your overall tactics in Valorant, while a tracking playlist contains specific tasks that inform you on your ability to track targets, which can apply more broadly to different FPS games. Keeping all of that in mind, playlists can simply be used to play tasks you really like. Aimlab is all about customization. You can create your own playlist dedicated to your aiming needs. From the home page, click the custom tab at the top of the screen and then click playlists. Here you'll find all your playlists, including some playlists we've created for you. Click create playlist at the bottom left. You'll see two panels on the left and right of your screen. On the left is a list of all of the Aimlab tasks divided up by attributes. Simply click the add button and then the task will be added to your list on the right. Add all of your tasks and then on the right you can change overall settings for your selected tasks, like which weapon should be used or the level you want to play in. At the top you can name your playlist and at the bottom you can save the playlist. Clear all to wipe the list and start over. Play to try out your playlist or upload to the workshop, which we'll talk about later. You can rearrange your selected tasks by click and dragging the items in your list. Once you save your playlist, it can be found by navigating to Playlists from the Training tab. Select your playlist and you'll find the option to play it. You can also find switches to enable looping a playlist to keep it going, or shuffling it for a fresh experience every time. If you feel like you've outgrown a playlist, or you'd like to give it an update, you can delete or edit the playlist with the Edits and Delete buttons on the top right. If you want to play Aimlab a little more beyond yourself, it's chock full of playlists we've made as well as playlists made by other Aimlab users. From the training tab, click Workshop. This is where you can find all sorts of unique content uploaded by the Aimlab community. If you filter by playlists on the left, you'll find playlists created by other users that you can download and start training in if you're curious. Be on the lookout for playlists uploaded by us, esports pros or other users that have unique experiences that they want to share. Remember the Upload to Workshop button earlier? Clicking that after you've created a playlist will upload it to the workshop for others to view. It's a great way to share a routine that's been working for you and possibly could help others train. A playlist is a powerful tool for helping you stay consistent in your journey to great aim. Remove all of the steps in shifting through menus and lists of tasks by getting what you need to train all in one place. Use the Aimlab community to discover playlists and tasks that have been proven to work, and please feel free to upload your own playlists. We'd love to check them out. If you have any questions or want any other aspect of Aimlab explored in depth, feel free to drop a comment. And if you're new here, we create content to help you improve your aiming skills, so be sure to subscribe and, of course, download Aimlab for free on Steam.